So now that we have our mesh model, uh, let's go and change our material. So I'm going to choose skin shed because it's more close to uh, subsurface uh, skin color uh, material. Okay, uh, next one, I want to add some small skin, some sort of reptiles one. And for that, I'm going to use some from Pixologic. So I'm going to go to pixology.com, going to support and all of that. If you go to alphas, of course, you can build it your own. You can Google it you will find pretty interesting one so but i'm going to use this one from pixology so i'm going to go to skin already dotted my as you can see lower my alphas that i found here this one no i think this one is not done so i'm going to download it now to see an example and i took some reptiles one uh, this one these two I, you can choose whatever you want so let's do it on this one also so you have this button to download you have this zip and I made a new folder called alpha on the desktop. Let's minimize and as you can see I already have them here but let's show you how we import. We go to import by going to alpha and going to alpha's new folder and let's take this one. Well, error caught a while loading a file. I think, ah, because that was a Mac one, sorry. So I need this one. Okay, this is for Windows. And you can see you have it in your alpha. So you can change it from here. Next, you can go to stroke and choose the projector to make a quick test we're going to uncheck RGB because we do not need them and just drag it so this is the way that you can this is one way that you can apply your alpha Let's uh, Ctrl Z and select another one. Let's take this one. And let's make some big ones over here. Now, before I start drawing, uh, what I need is uh, I'm going to use layers. I'm not using that often because I don't know, I'm not used to, but I should use it more often because the skin that I'm adding won't be reversed if I'm not using layers. So to come back and add more details of the big shape if I want or to change something, I won't be able because the all the skin this uh, dino will have. So... It's pretty good to use uh, layers to get used to. So let's create another one. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So let's uh, start at some big shape over here. So by just uh, playing with intensity, let's go to, I don't know, 21, 22. Let's drag it. But it's inverse, so let's control Z and to not press Alt every time, let's go to Z add. Uh, 
that's much better. Let's control Z that and drag another one. Something like this. So slippery. Not sure why. Never happened. Okay, so I had my first um, layer of skin. We can go and press B, D to them in standard, but it's already selected. Or we can go to standard and let's make it small. Let's close this one and let's not this one, this one. Let's play. make it more interesting not that perfect we can go and add more we can go and add an alpha or this one Um, why I choose layer so let me show you why now it's on rec and if, if we disable this one by pressing should be disabled okay we have our black skin <laughs> I'm not sure why so let's fill our object I'm not sure why this happened. Maybe from polypaint. I'm not sure why the color on polypaint is black. So we have our scheme, but we can control the density from here. As you can see, at zero disappear. Also, the eyes, eye closed. You can go negative or uh, plus. So, if we close the eye, we do not have our skin anymore, and we can add more. I don't know density. And if we open the eye, as you can see, our skin go up on the new adding so let's control Z again so I'm going to go full I think this was full let's press one and let's go to record again and again I have this color and we can continue adding our skin let's choose this one and let's go down with the density And let's uh, I can see that we need to see it front so we can add the good skin and this is how I'm going to add my layer of skin I'm going to speed up this process and use various uh, models of skin plus I'm going to I think I'm going to create some of this one manually so won't be so 
the same. See you later.
so guys i hope this video finds you well and you learn something of course the skin could be much carefully made but for this video i think it's pretty okay uh, you can play a lot with another skin to see how this is looking as you saw if we close our layer we can continue adding more detail on the surface now we should be black again I think as you can see we do not have skin anymore so you can also gonna be able to control the intensity so you can make it more or less uh, sharp uh, this model will be cast by uh, so after this model is finished up uh, it's gonna be cast in silver so I'm super curious to see how this will be looking by silverstatue.com I'm gonna link up of the website on the description so you can see what this company has I saw beautiful things so hope you enjoy watching thank you for watching uh, see you next time have a great day